Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video. So, in the previous video, we have seen the functions of uh, standard logic gates. In this video, I am going to perform a simple activity that is 10.1. Let me show you that how the two logic expressions of ZOR gate can be equal to each other or how can we represent the logic expressions. This one and this one, how they both represent ZOR gate. So let's uh, just do that. But before that, I just want to tell you that uh, there is one thing that is A dot B whole bar, which is equals to A bar plus B bar. Before doing this activity, let me just explain you this one that how these two logic expressions can be equal to each other because this what I am going to use in this particular activity. So in order to explain this, let me just make a table for you. Okay, let's make a truth table to explain this. Okay, so here you have two inputs A, B. And then a dot b is your multiplication of both the variables. So we can write a dot b. Let's make columns for these. Then a dot b bar means it is NAND operation on the two bits a, b. Okay. Then look at the right hand side. You can have a bar. Then you can have b bar. And finally, you will be adding A bar plus B bar. So what you need to see, you need to see that this is your left hand side. The values of left hand side must be equal to the values of right hand side in order to verify that A dot B whole bar is equals to A bar plus B bar. So. Let me just write down the combination. Since we have two inputs, so there will be four combinations, 2 raised to the power n, where n is the number of inputs, so it will be four combinations. So it will be 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 1, 0, then 1, 1. So if I do the multiplication of the bits, then it will be 0, 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 1 is 1. Then, if it is a NAND operation, I will reverse all these bits. So, it is 1, 1, 1, 0. Because remember that this bar means that it is a NOT operation. And in the NOT operation, we reverse the bits that we have. Okay. A dot B bar is calculated. Now, let's quickly do A bar. A bar means that you will see the values of A in the first column this one and you will perform a not operation on that. So it will be if a is 0 then a bar will be 1 and if a is 1 then a bar will be 0. Similarly look at the second column b and make it not b. Not b means that the values will be reversed. For 0 it will be 1 and for 1 it will be 0. So 1 0 1 0. This is how you can write A bar, B bar, looking at, looking at the values of A and B. Now, let's add both the values to get A bar plus B bar. So, 1 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 0 plus 0 is 0. Now, if you see your left-hand side, that is A dot B bar. Let me just highlight it over here. And the right hand side that is A bar plus B bar. Look at the values. 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. It means both are equal. Hence, it is verified that this A dot B bar, which is a NAND operation, is equals to A bar plus B bar. Now, if it is clear to you, let's quickly do activity 10.1. Okay, so first of all, this, we need to show that this 
logic expression is equal to this or x equals to y. These are the two expressions that we can use for ZOR gate. So the first one is x equals to a and not b or not a and b. Let me write it in Boolean algebra. So it will be a instead of and it will be multiplication. Then not b means b bar. Then we have brackets on it or means that it is addition. Then not a means a bar and means multiplication b. Okay. So this is x equals to this. Now let me talk about y. y is bracket. Look at your activity 10.1. What is y? y is a or b and not a and b. Okay. In Boolean algebra, we can write it a or means it's addition a plus b bracket and means multiplication not a and b means that a and b a dot b and because of not we will put a bar on a and b like this the whole bar because the uh, not operation is out of the bracket of a and b so it means it's a whole bar on a and B. Now what you have to do, you have to show that X is equal to Y. So let me consider this thing as a left hand side and consider Y as a right hand side. So what you have to do, let's do the working over here. First, what is X? Take left hand side first, which is X. And let's put the value of x that is a dot b bar plus a bar dot b. Or in other words, I can open the bracket also. So it will be simply a dot b bar plus a bar dot b. Now, here I will add two terms. And what are these two terms? A, A bar and B, B bar. Remember that A, A bar is 0 and B, B bar is 0. And something that is e 0 can be added into the expression anytime when you need it. And why I am saying that A, A bar is 0? Because look at this. If you are going to multiply the value of A, let's suppose value of A is either 0 or 1. So A bar will be 1 and 0. It will be the reverse. And when you are going to multiply A with A bar, so remember that it will always give you 0 because you are multiplying two dissimilar, dissimilar values. 1 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0. And same goes for B, B bar. Since two dissimilar values are multiplying 1 into 0 or 0 into 1. That's why the value will always be, the result will always be 0. So these two terms can easily be added into my uh, left hand side. Because both of these values are 0 or have no uh, there is no problem to add them and instead of that they are going to solve your activity or problem plus b b bar so a dot a bar is added first then a dot b bar is taken from here then a bar dot b is here and b b bar is added at the end so these two terms look at here this one and this one is added in order to solve the problem now what you will do next 
you will take common from these two terms. A will be taken as common, whereas the remaining will be put inside A bar plus B bar. Then for the next two terms, the common value is B. So B will be taken outside and the inside values are A bar in the third term and B bar is left in the fourth term. So it is like that. If both of these brackets, brackets are same, so what you can do, you can just put A plus B into one bracket. It's a basic mathematics or basic algebra. And the other will be A bar plus B bar and be written like this. Okay, so now what I have to do, I have already mentioned that A bar plus B bar is equals to A dot B whole bar. This is what I have already verified over here. It's already being done to let you know that A dot B bar is equals to A bar plus B bar. So what I will be doing, I will replace it with A plus B will be written as it is. And this A bar plus B bar will be replaced with A dot B whole bar because these two are same by using this rule. Okay, now what happens over here? You can easily see that this is basically the value of y. A plus B dot A dot B whole bar. So this is your y. So in this way, we have verified that x value of x is equals to y. Hence, it is proved that both of these logical expressions have the same meaning or have the same result. So, both of these expressions can be used for Zor gate. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next video, I will be coming up with another important topic. Stay tuned, stay connected. And if you have any queries, you can comment below. Take care. Bye-bye.